Hi everybody, Chris here. I hope you're all well. Uh, it's snowing here today, uh, and it's it's pretty cold in the garage. So uh, I've got plenty of hot tea and the heaters on. Right, today I'll be doing a pen turning video. Uh, I've I've got the blank here, and I've already cut the the blank to length and epoxied the brass tube inside now the best way that I have found to go about uh, getting the tube inside is what I do is I get my verniers on the brass tube uh, get its get its length and then give it a few mil more and then I set the fence on the bandsaw uh, to that length and then I can just push the blank through and the this is acrylic uh, and the thing with acrylic blanks is I can't put them in my center finder because I've had a go and they just shatter so uh, they work fine on wood so what I have to do is I just have to guess now I've not recorded that because it's painful believe you me it's painful it took me probably an hour to just drill that uh, cut it to length sorry and drill it was brutal and I ruined the blank uh, it was just way off center so uh, what I'll do is I'll turn the camera off and we'll get ready to uh, trim the length of the blank so let me just find my remote okay I hope you can see okay so I'm at the drill press now and I've got the the 10 mil barrel trimmer now this is for a Sierra pen so it's uh, 10.72 uh, in English money or 27 60 fourths in, uh, in dollars so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this now in my mole grips uh, and then I'll start trimming now what I can that's very smooth and I, and I can just feel the edge of the hole so when I've taken the acrylic away I can actually feel when the brass tube is flush with the acrylic so it does work it's a bit of trial and error a bit of start and stop so what I tend to do is just get a grip on the acrylic remove that actually now if I just crank this up let me just find where this goes on there you go and then a crank the table up and just put the guard down so what I'll do now is I'll get the, the drill going Swap that off I've got a good hold now so just gently press stop the drill lower the table Now I don't know if you can see that or anything, let me just feel where the lens is. Now I don't know if you can see that but I can feel the brass tube there now. So what I need to do now is do the other side and you can come back in a minute. Right folks, I'm, I'm at the lathe now and I've got the, the bushings put into the, the brass tubes. I've got the mandrel saver on, so uh, everything's all pushed up now nice and tight. So I'm obviously going to be turning it quite fast. It's only a small, small piece. Uh, I'll be wearing my face shield because these little bits of acrylic, they fly off and 
sort of like sting my face and I find it a bit <laughs> so uh, what I need to do now is just uh, get cracking so I'm going to be using my roughing gouge and my spindle gouge to do most of the shaping so that feels about right so everybody don't forget safety face shields look after yourselves and off we go
Okay everybody, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start the sanding process. So uh, I'm going to start with 120, and this is just traditional abrasive paper, 120 grit. And then I'm going to uh, progress after this 120 onto the Turner's mesh. Uh, and that starts at 180 and that goes up to 600. So I'm going to go all the way up to 600 now, just doing normal sanding. So. I've got my dust mask on. I'm going to turn the speed down. And start sanding. Nice and gently, keep the paper moving. You don't want to go too fast because you could put, start putting too much heat into the acrylic and better just to take your time. You don't you don't want to ruin your work. And there's an old saying my boss used to tell me, don't be greedy for finish. So I always remember that. Don't be greedy for finish. So you get the idea folks, uh, you can come back when I've got it up to 600. Okay everybody, I've sanded up now to 600 with traditional uh, abrasive. So what I need to do now is start working through the micro mesh. Now, uh, on a previous video I've shown you this little indexing system that I'd made. So what I first need to do is just dunk it all in this pot of water that I've got here now and get them all nice and wet. So. I'll make sure that the speed well, that sounds okay to me that so what I need to do now is start on the left hand side where I've got this little ring I've got some tissue paper and I'll wipe off the slurry in between each pad so let's get going. Just gentle pressure and I'll just keep working it from side to side. Keep it moving, keep the pad moving as well. a bit more water and turn the pad over. Give it a wipe now. Remove the slurry. Pull that pad out of the way. Let me find the next one. It's this one. And off I go. Same process from side to side. Keeping the pad moving. Now the the, the slurry will will actually act as a buffing paste as well, so it does aid in bringing out the gloss and removing scratches. Flip this pad over. I like to do both sides of the pad and then the, you know, in my mind they're sort of like the wearing at an even rate, so. And 
again, remove the slurry, and then on to the next pad. So I'll pause you guys there now and come back when I've worked through these nine grits. Okay everybody I'm back now and I think we found a switch that helps us get closer in and it holds a focus. So that's it now. That's polished through uh, 15 stages actually in total. So it feels really really smooth. It does feel like glass. I don't know if it's picking up any of the shine or luster or anything. I hope it is. It's bloody really when you think about it it's ridiculous me trying to do all this camera work but it does feel really smooth now so I'll just uh, put this back on the tripod and then I'll get the burnishing cream out okay folks burnishing time so what I've got here is Axminster burnishing cream but you can use whatever brand you're used to uh, Teacup works like Mike Walt's been using, that hut that they get over in the States. You could use some uh, G10 from Farrakhlar, uh, all sorts of different things. Just use what you're used to, I suppose. So, found my position. So, you just apply this now, keeping it moving. Working this polish into the acrylic move to a clean piece of tissue and buff this out now Stop the lathe now while I just get some more. It's only a tiny little bit on that, so again, just working it through, keeping it moving, making sure there's a good even coat on everything. Now I can feel how smooth this is. Feels really, really good. Go to a clean piece of tissue and buff this out. And that should do. So if I just take you off the tripod now and bring you over so hopefully there now folks you can see the shine it feels really really good so what we need to do now is go over and get the the other parts of the pen and We'll uh, press it all together. Right, so I'm over here now, and that's the that's the finished blank. So if I just set that aside somewhere, so in here I have in this bottom container I have all my Sierra parts. So I know that what that's a mechanism and spring. That's the top cap and clip. Refill. And that's the nib. And that's everything I think. Yeah. So 
what I need to do now is hopefully uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this just let me think about this we'll be back in a second okay so let's get this pen pressed together so first thing I like to do is right that's the that's the nib just chuck that plastic out of the way for now right that's the mechanism and also in here should be a spring for the refill right I've got that so right and there's the refill so I'll put the, the spring easy said than done come on right here put the spring and then that goes into the nib section and get the mechanism have a feel for where the thread is right so that's the threaded end Spring them right. Just try it the other way. Okay, that's better. So screw the mechanism on. Screw the mechanism into the nib, and I'll just, just make sure that that uh, that works. So that nib's going in and out now. So that's fine. Then got the cap section here. And this obviously goes into the the blank so let's just get this all adjusted I like to do it this way a bit more let's get that started in there maybe move it up some so I'll just locate the, the cap in that little indent in the nylon and then I'll just start pushing it home and there you go and that's that's that and that should just push on and there you go one pen right then let's get the camera let's have a proper look Okay everybody, here's the pen now. It all seems to fit and it's nice and flush there with the, the rest of the pen. So this is a this is gonna be a gift. Mike Newman, the, the fastest blind man in the world, his support worker Jenny. Uh sadly her mother passed away just uh a week or two before Christmas, so uh I said I'd make her a pen. It's the least I can do. So, uh, there you have it, Jenny. Uh, Mike Newman, support worker. There's there's your pen. And uh, I hope everybody out there, I hope I've got it in frame, and I hope everybody out there uh, likes it, and I hope you've enjoyed this this uh, pen turning blind styly okay so I'll put the camera back in the tripod and we'll finish up right so that's that's the pen finished and everything now so I hope you've enjoyed it uh, and there's more to come I think the next the next video I'm gonna do will be a, sort of like a short one uh, and hopefully I'm going to show you how a blind man sharpens a couple of tools on his grinder now that is fun <laughs> so uh, I'm very happy with the pen love the way it feels uh, thanks for popping by uh, I'd like to give a shout out to he's called Mike and I think he goes under 
Mick Pen 22. So he's got a few videos under his belt now, and he's been wood turning since he was about 12 years of age. So anyway, he's an amazing guy, and you'll find that you'll find out why. So I won't say any more than that. So he's. His subscribers are at about 70 odd now so pop over there folks and uh, give him your support and let's see if we can get his subscriptions uh, moving along so uh, Mick Penn 22 I think so uh, thanks for subscribing hi to all my new subscribers and don't forget to click like and share this with everybody and uh, i'll catch you on the next video thanks everybody bye